Nerd out here come the Heroic Inferno Arch Rep. Heroic will smoke off Arch and Library. They throw Flash's bracket to take control and then a flash to blind Zaiwu off the moto angle, making him fall back to sight. They send three players, Bora, Tess, and Sound, long to rap to A, while Kadian is laying in Nico's apartments. Katie and Nico will pinch on the bomb site when contact is made from the arch players. Nico will flash graveyard when his arch teammates are ready to swing moto. These flashes allow them to entry onto site and kill Zayu and Masuta mini pit. The library smoke had a small gap in it, and Sound who was watching the smoke run through finds shocks. Vitality are in a 2v5 and off the safe. Let's look at the POVs. Borup is one of the arch players who has bomb that will wrap to A, he will smoke arch, in the beginning of the round, there was aggression from Vitaly that you'll see from Kadian's POV. Borup's gonna re-molly window in case of aggression, then he goes to apartments and holds for the push. I'm gonna fast forward to the execute part since there's nothing interesting to note. When Heroic are ready to execute, Borup will smoke Arch. He will crouch and line himself in the middle of the two dark marks here, and then uses the corner of the roof and looks up about towards the middle of the gray building to the left. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly in the middle because the smoke is very forgiving as long as you're to the left of the corner of the roof. The smoke should land fine. Then while crouched, he left clicks. He flashes left brackets in case an opera is holding, then he swings long with Kadian's flash which pushes back Zaiwu. He wraps to A and when he gets around the moto corner, Nico is flashing graveyard twice. He waits for the second flash to pop before actually heading into sight. Borup will push through Zaiwu's defensive smoke and kill him sight and plants Fino. Tess, another arch player, mollies window early on and then goes to Mexico and clears mid because Vitality was spotted early on trying to rush down mid. I'll fast forward to the execute. For the execute, Tess will flash right bracket and then over lane. Then he jumps over to create space and makes it harder if there was an off posted. He waits for Kadian's long flash to peak Moto, and then quickly checks Cubby and pushes up long. He follows Boar up through the smoke and kills Masuta mini pit. He gets on graveyard, clear sight, and then big pit. Sound is the last arch player who starts off towards T stairs and flashes top banana. Then he waits and holds mid in case there's a push due to Kadian spotting a player rushing down. Vitality smoke off half wall. After Tess and Nico clear mid, then Sound mollies behind the half wall smoke making it appear that Heroic is going for a top banana control. Had there not been a half wall smoke thrown from Vitality, then Sound would use his utility early on to either slow down Vitality banana control or to fake Heroic banana control. For the execute, Sound throws no utility, he's in charge of watching flank in the smoke run through. You see here he's playing anti-flash because it's very common for CTs to get a flash to peak long from Moto. As his teammates go in, Sound checks library and there's a small gap in the smoke, leading to a kill on shocks. Two players remain on Vitality and Sound starts to hunt. Kadian will be the library smoker and lane player. He has a really good spawn in the beginning to peak mid in which he takes. When he peeks, he sees two players, one attempting to rush down while the other one mauling. He falls back and flashes and lets his teammates know that the enemy could be pushing mid. All his teammates take alert and hold the push. Tess and Nico will eventually clear mid, and Kadian has Sound jump over Banana so he can trade him out if need be. Both of them will throw Utility top Banana to sell the control, and then for the execute, Kadian will smoke Library. For the positioning, you want to get stuck into the green mailbox, then aim at the white area inside the square here and jump throw. Careful with the smoke because sometimes it could leave a very small gap. It's a sensitive smoke so you have to go into the server and test it out. After he smokes, he will flash long, which will blind any offers holding from Moto. Then Kadian will head towards lane. He doesn't actively push into site because the main source of attack is from Rap. Him and Nico will pinch on the bomb site when his Rap players take contact. All three Vitality players are dead on A, so Kadian will hold the flank. Nico is the apartment player who flashes graveyard twice for his arch teammates in order to entry site. He's going to clear mid due to the aggression shown early on and then once cleared, he gets apartment control. He waits in halls and doesn't push up until his teammates are in brackets. That's when Nico starts pushing up. He will flash graveyard twice when his teammates are about to swing around the moto corner. The flash graveyard blinds certain positions in sight, as well as above balcony and mini pit. 
Nico will molly big pit afterwards and then come out. I think he should have came out earlier when his arch teammates took contact. In the next clip versus complexity, heroic run the strat quicker. They have sound go banana and throw utility while the other four go alt middle. From alt mid, Tess will smoke left bracket and molly lane, and then heroic will set up for their execute. Sound will meet up once he's done throwing his nade set. Heroic does their execute and oboe is at moto and will kill Tess and Bora. Sound eventually trades. Sound is going to get caught out pulling a flash by rush. Nico comes out the smoke apartments and dies of poison sight, and Katie and the lane player will kill Rush Pit, however dies of poison sight as well. The round relies a lot on the arch players being able to entry into sight. If they die long, the strat is in shambles. The reason I am showing this round is because I want to show their variation of the banana and mid take. Let's go into the POVs where I'll briefly cover some things. I won't go into much detail since I covered the majority early in the vitality clips. So Tess is going to smoke left brackets from alt metal and then he's going to molly lane. Sometimes you'll see teams do this early on to get early mid control. And then for the execute he's going to flash right side brackets. Heroic are going to run through their own smoke with Cadian's flash. Tess checks cubby and Obo is moto not blind and kills him. Borup is the other arch player who will be smoking arch. I'm not sure why he doesn't molly window here. Borup sets up for his arch smoke. Alongside Tess and Sound, they're all three are gonna run through Tess's left bracket smoke with Cadian's flash. Unfortunately, Borup was unable to trade out Tess and also falls to Obo. Alright, so Sound is going to throw Banana Utility early on, he smokes half wall, and then Molly's behind half wall. He's going to regroup with his teammates, and then Sound does have a flash and grenade. So he's just going to throw a random grenade towards right side bracket, and then he's going to use his flash for right side bracket as well. He's going to run through the smoke, checks lane, remember Sound is the person that is going to be watching the flank as well as the smoke run through he's gonna trade out obo and then he's gonna get caught out with a flash here since heroic wants to run this strat quicker kadian is gonna go alt middle even though he has an op he's gonna set up for his smoke which is the library smoke and then he's gonna flash twice he's gonna flash for close through the smoke and then he's gonna try to flash for the moto both flashes don't get Oboe. I think it's because Oboe was jiggle peeking. And then Kaden goes lane. He's going to molly big pit. He creeps on up. He's going to kill Rush here. And then he tries to kill Poison Sight, but misses. So Nico, remember, is the apartment player. He's going to go into apartments. And then he takes his time clearing it. Remember, he waits until his teammates are going up brackets to advance. So there they are, up brackets. He's advancing and he's going to flash twice graveyard within his teammates' swing. Unfortunately, they can't capitalize on the flashes because Obo kills them. And then now Nico has to try to make a play out of apartments. And he has to run through the smoke and dies. To wrap up, Heroic's Inferno Arch Rep pinches the A bomb site from three different routes and puts a lot of pressure on the CT players on A. The round depends a lot on the Arch players. If they're able to trade or entry, then A's is theirs for the taking. However, what I don't like about this strat is Heroic going through their bracket smoke. I've seen it multiple times. That's a recipe for disaster even if you have flashes. If you liked the video, please upvote and subscribe. Till next time, Nardart here, peace.